So guys, welcome to the Dip Monkey Garage. Um, what we're going to be doing with the channel now, we're going to start trying to take you behind the scenes a little bit. So a lot of you have seen us at shows and, and the cars we've got. We're going to show you a bit behind the scenes of how the cars get done and what we actually do at DMG here. So whether it comes from custom painting, hydro dipping, uh, the vinyl wraps, uh, the graphics, window tinting. Uh, we're going to start taking you along on the journey with us a little bit. So uh, yeah, so now we're going to show you predominantly some of the hydro dipping bits that we've been doing this week. The Dip Monkey Garage, good morning everybody. So here we have a Honda Civic Type R grill. This has been getting prepped for hydro dipping. So it's been primed, it's taken a black base going, it's got our secret colour on top of it, not telling you what it is. So that's the grill, and then if you take a little look over here, uh, this is the spoiler blade out of the Mugen spoiler on the back of the Type R. So the main Mugen spoiler itself is going to be staying black. Uh, and we've also prepped the wing for hydro dip. So this is going to be going in a forged carbon. Uh, it's a forged carbon that you have seen before. Um, and you'd have seen it on Mustang Sally. So you see Sally's wing and the vents down the side of the car are done in that. Uh, our mate Dan with the Type R, he quite likes it. He said it looks really cool. So he wants to get him some of that. So that's what we're doing. We've got um, some Benelli 752S parts here, it's all the fairings, guards and things like that. Uh, it's called chain guard covers. Um, so these are in with us getting hydro dipped. Uh, if you follow us online, you'd have seen about a month or so ago, we did another Benelli 752S and we did all the carbon fairings. So we've actually got an extra guard on this job that we're doing instead. Um, so these have all been prepped, primed, now in the base coat and they're ready for getting hydro dipped, which will be coming shortly in the video, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so Dan's watched through some of the other tables of prepped hydro dip that we've got. Um, but these particular pieces here in this winning blue are actually going on a Mark III MX-5. Now what we've actually chosen to do here is pick up the exterior body paint, uh, which is the winning blue. We've brought that into the interior ready for these pieces to be hydro dipped in a lightning print film. Lightning print film. Okay guys, this is a really heavy inked film that we have here as you can see this is the underneath side so this will be the side that actually goes on water however the reverse side you see how strong the ink print film is so all this sort of clear lightning bolt here this will be what actually shows through that winning blue and gives you that really cool effect What I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to get as much of the cluster of lightning bolts as possible to minimise just the heavy inload of the black in areas. So I'm being quite selective with my dip. There you go. Okay guys, so we've got a Star Wars inspired film here. Um, it is actually a really, really cool film. So you've got all these stormtroopers in here and this is actually an ongoing project for one of our customers. He brings me in a couple of parts each couple of weeks and that and we just do this particular film for it. But this film is a pain in the, can I swear? Am I allowed to swear? No, I'm not allowed to swear, am I? This is a pain in the bum, this particular film. Okay, and it's silverback. Silverback is very, very different to what I've just shown you with the lightning print, which is the black and clear film. This is silverback, okay? It's a totally different film. Behaves totally different on the water. It takes a, a lot longer time to hydrate and soak. Um, so it is a particularly difficult film to work with, but we are used to working with it. Now, the particular piece we are gonna hydro dip for this customer is his engine cover. Um, now I'm actually just focusing on this section here of the engine cover 
because this particular area here is going to have a different painted effect okay and um, we're going to go in with a different color pinstripe along here just to pick out some of the details so all i want to do is make sure that this section of the engine cover is perfect trims off like the roof bars off the Mark III MX-5 and um, briefly you would have seen that we base coated them um, and then we got them all hydro dipped in the lightning effect so this is the showy bit this is the good bit this is when they're all in the clear coat and you really get that real super shiny look which is super pleasing to the eye the whole process is quite good fun to do but this is the bit this is your money shot right there when they look absolutely fantastic so we've done both of the trims uh, off the back of the MX-5 and then we've got some smaller trims that have just been finished there and these are going on the steering wheel. So they're looking pretty cool. All we're going to do now, we're going to let them cure overnight tomorrow, get them back on the car. Okay, so here we've got the Civic Type R grill off the EP3. So. As you've seen, we've base coated it and we've got it built up with our top secret colour that we've decided to do here. Um, and then we've hydro dipped it in the Detail Forge Carbon is, is what we've used. Uh, Detail Forge Carbon, some of you would have seen it before because like I said earlier, this is what we've actually got on Mustang Sally. So we've dipped the grill and, and if you wanna have a look, it's actually dipped through all the pieces of the grill really, really nice. Looks pretty cool. So now it's at the stage where it's all clear coated. So we're gonna leave this, uh, let it cure overnight tomorrow. We can refit the badges, get the Type R emblem back on and uh, get it back on the car. So we've got the center caps here and these are actually off the Type R as well. Uh, off our good friend Dan, off his Civic Type R. Um, so we've just done the wheels on the car as well. And um, the center caps, uh, they were put in about five years ago and they just corroded a bit, gone a little bit bubbly. Uh, and the little Type R logo, they'll start peeling. So we've booked in to have the wheels done and we decided to treat him so we refurbed his centre caps. Um, so yeah, we just sanded them back, prepped them up and we've gone for another forged carbon on the centre caps. So these are hydro dipped with clear, all in the forged carbon. We've just done the clear coat on them uh, and then once they're, once they're all nice and dry and ready tomorrow, uh, I'm going to go back in and put the little Type R logos back on uh, and then pop them back in the wheels as a little present too because we absolutely love it. The 
this is our detailed forged carbon printed hydrographic film and this is going on a Honda Civic type R uh, wing. We are actually doing a double dip this time round so that the underneath gets fully submerged with the, with the forged carbon and the top side which you predominantly see will be forged carbon as well. So what we're actually achieving is a really nice join line right around the edge of the wing so it looks like it's one continuous dip. So this is what I'm cutting up now ready. Civic Type R makeover, all completed, everything's back on the car. So, uh, the grill's all back together now, all the badges are back on, looking really, really clean. We've not done a full car uh, forged carbon grill before, so this is a new one for us. Really pleased with the results, so it looks really fantastic. Um, we've also done the forged centre caps, which you've seen. Uh, they are now back on the wheels that we refurbished in a nice high gloss black, and we've also refurbished the calipers in a nice bright red. It's a Civic Type R after all, and there's no other colour choice for the brakes. So, uh, we've also done a uh, satin black sunstrip on the car, uh, done the Mugen graphic on it as well. So that's all, that's all on the car, looking lovely. And then to the back of the car, uh, that beautiful forged carbon wing is now back in place on the Mugen rear spoiler, looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, so we've got that fitted back on as well, and the car's had some Dip Monkey branding. We've got Dip Monkey logos on the rear windows, on the rear quarter windows, and also on the boot. Um, yeah, so the car is all ready now, uh, ready to go back to her owner and she looks great.